what were you doing in 1969? Partying. <laughs> in 1969, more than 400,000 people showed up for a music festival on a 600-acre dairy farm near Woodstock, New York. Smoking, taking drugs, everything. Brenda Russell graduated from Hawkinsville High School in 1967. They said that we were the first hippies in Hawkinsville. I don't know about all that, but... Brenda didn't make it to Woodstock, but just months after that cultural landmark, another music festival came to her. Promoted as three days of peace, love, and music, the Atlanta International Pop Festival was held at a pecan farm in Byron, Georgia. A three-day ticket cost just $14, and the talent on stage... Unbelievable. Almond Brothers, B.B. King, Junior Baker's Air Force. And Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix playing at midnight with his tea. In Byron, on July 4th, Hendrix played the national anthem. It was the largest American audience of his career. Brenda was there. I said, y'all wake me up when he comes home. So they woke me up at midnight, and I remember him playing, and he was another one of my idols. Loved him. Crowd estimates at the festival in Byron range from 150 to 600,000. There were limited bathrooms, no showers, and it was hot, really hot, temperatures surpassing 100 degrees. My friend came from McCray with a truckload of watermelons, and he made a killer. The Atlanta International Pop Festival. Free camping in, in beautiful pecan orchards, country setting, clean air, and cultural revolution. Rick Devins, WGXA News. Everything was, the word was heavy, I see right here, heavy. That was the word of the moment? I guess, near the main gate, one studied a poster and smiled heavy. He said, <laughs>